My father was a sage. He would always have something to say about everything. One of the things that my father used to remind myself and my siblings, and there are eight of us, you had two strikes against you. You're black and you're poor. And that was a motivator to push ahead in order to succeed and to move forward and not be distracted or deterred by the circumstances. Because uh, if you just accept that fact and not try to go beyond it, then you would not have success. Dr. Watson's contributions to UCSF began at a critical point in time in, in U.S. history, especially history related to civil rights and human rights. Those of us who know history, and I lived it, this was a very divisive time across the country. I always characterized him a little bit as heavy on Martin Luther King in that he wanted to change things and, and live the changes. If you are born non-white in this country, you are born to a life of sacrifice. He had a little edge of Malcolm X as well. He wanted to fight the good fight. And because of who he was and what he cared about so passionately, UCSF was changed. I grew up in Chicago, Illinois. I was born in 1940. We lived in the Ida B. Wells housing project. And I was shocked that they were built specifically for Negro individuals. And that's where I spent the first 18 years of my life. Growing up African-American, especially in a place like Chicago, we were all told that we had to work three and four times harder than the other students in our class in order to get the same grade. My father was a member of the NAACP, and we used to get every year this journal that summarized, how do you say, progress amongst African-Americans across the country. And there were so many pioneers that personally, you start thinking about yourself. And well, maybe I can be the first doing this or doing that. But for me, I got stimulated early in terms of the concept of science. And so for a long time, I saw myself as a chemist, even through high school. Once I had been bitten with the idea that I had a facility to do science, I uh, pursued it. Dr. Watson had been at the very forefront of trying to improve diversity, equity, inclusion in medical education. John was the only African American that was in the science department at all at UCSF at the time that we came. As a scientist, he did remarkable work in cholesterol metabolism. And as a dean, he did remarkable work in bringing inclusion into the student body. When I came here, the admissions process was very complex. And I was in a position to help others. He said, let's not just look at grades or your medical college admission test scores as the factor that decides how you get ranked, but let's look at the path you took to get there. Let's figure out what other things you can bring to the community other than just your scientific background. They had made a decision to have a goal of 25% of the students in the School of Medicine, School of Dentistry to be underrepresented minority students. So not only did he change the number of underrepresented minorities who came into the medical school, but he also changed the kinds of non-minority students we had here. Dr. Watson has been a mentor to many people over many years. He has actually done what we hope all of us would do as scientists and faculty members at UCSF, and that is make a difference in the lives of others. We wanted to develop a fund that would support people who had that same value. As soon as we said that out loud, we realized there was one name that epitomized this entire effort, and it was John Watson. We now have about 41 John Watson scholars, 
They have become a community within UCSF that I think is really pushing forward many of the things that Dr. Watson stood for and continues to stand for. He's a servant of humanity. He's a person who was always looking out. How can we make it better for people who have been locked out to become part of the system? And some of those individuals that were a part of his life, they have gone well beyond being a doctor to being deans, to being chancellors, to being whatever. And that's like throwing the pebble into the pond and seeing the ripples. In his pond, the ripples are still going and they have not reached the shore yet. He changed the sort of what this cultural landscape of this university was. So I feel he is definitely deserving of the UCSF medal. This medal is a signal, not that to strive for in helping others and promoting others towards success. Because you've contributed to the overall improvement of humanity.